what's up everybody great to see you back again the new year has started and today i thought why not discuss on identifying the yudhishthir inside us yes 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 everybody has a yudhishthir inside us all right so today's topic is how to see the yudhishthir that is inside us and how to feed him so that he becomes more and more prominent inside us all right there you go welcome to exotic astrology again and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to the channel and if you want me to make any other video then let me know in the comments and if you want a personal consultation then approach me in my link very grenaissance below and i'm very happy with so many consultations which i have done feels great to know that you can help so many people right there you go and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and before i start anything on the gita i must say the prayer to my gurus who have very kindly bestowed their knowledge and wisdom unto me yes by saying om agyan timirandhasya gyananjana shlakaya chakshur unmilitam yena tasmai shri guruve namaha all right now the question is who is yudhishthir oh my god we know who is he right he is the eldest of the pandavas yes that is true but what does yudhishthir maharaj represent well of course he is a personality he is a physically existing personality who is there in the mahabharat and who is known as dharma raj yes dharma raj means the one who follows dharma perfectly religion and spirituality all the rules regulations and he is like lord ram maryada purushottam <laughs> now yudhishthir maharaj has to be studied understood and we have to realize him because everybody has a yudhishthir inside yes who is that person yudhishthir yudhishthir inside us represents that voice which always says be good do good <laughs> don't do bad don't listen bad don't think bad don't eat bad anything bad is no 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 anything good is yes 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 so yudhishthir represents that small inner voice which everybody has inside us all right and sometimes we listen to that voice <laughs> sometimes we may not listen to that voice or sometimes we may be in tus oh should i listen to yudhishthir or should i listen to duryodhana because we will discuss about duryodhana later duryodhana has to be discussed elaborately in detail okay more than yudhishthir especially because in kaliyuga duryodhana's presence is more prominent in our hearts yes <coughs> but before duryodhana let's discuss about yudhishthir the pandavas first then duryodhana dushasana karana everybody else later all right so now yudhishthir maharaj from the time of his childhood till the last moment when he leaves this planet when he ascends up towards the heavens till that time he does not lose his commitments his spiritual strength his desire to do good for everybody for the praja the public for everybody for every human being alive in this planet and for even the animals for the birds for the society for the environment he just wants to do good yes but sometimes the example of yudhishthir maharaj tells us that even if we are good sometimes we may be the most virtuous most truthful most humble most respectful most loving most caring person in this world but that does not mean that others around us are also like that yes which simply means that even though we may be very good inside but other people in this world may behave in ways because of which we may feel that we should not behave like you wish to which means suppose somebody cheated us we were very honest with the person yes and somebody came and and that person came and cheated us from anything maybe in a relationship or maybe monetary wise or maybe we said something to the person 
and then that person went and said it to somebody else which we did not want yes anything it can be any form of cheating which can happen with us then what do we do we also do the same with the person or do we behave like yudhishthir <laughs> that is where we have to check ourselves yes <laughs> so to expect that because just because we are good others will also be good is not right because we may be very good we may be very honest very truthful but others may not behave like that yes so it's important that when others don't behave the way we behave properly with them then we do not behave the way they behave yes suppose somebody cheats on us that doesn't mean we should also cheat on them we may distance ourselves from that person yes we may keep distance that's okay but that doesn't mean we should go for this tit for tat ideology that doesn't work because then what happens is when somebody cheats you if you also cheat them then again you are creating another karma yes the law of karma is very intricate once you do something again then again somebody will do that to you so don't do anything let karma do its job all right don't do anything doesn't mean you don't take care of your responsibilities but this need it's needless to go on taking revenge from somebody uselessly yes yudhishthir maharaj could have done that but he said no i will not uselessly waste my time taking revenge from people although fighting the war was a part of his dharma that is why he fought yes <coughs> but he was also known as ajata shatru ajata shatru means one who has no enemies yes because now you may say oh he's having so many enemies but how come he doesn't have any enemy no he doesn't have any enemy in his heart he never hated duryodhana he always loved him he never hated dushasan he never hated anybody this quality which he has that he never hated anybody this is something which we also have to cultivate within us all right whatever anybody does to us we should always forgive my god that is such a great virtue which he has perhaps he is the only person in the mahabharat who exemplifies this yes time and again this personality has been tested so many times my god at the end of his life when he reaches towards the highest pinnacle of this bhuloka indra descends in his chariot and says my dear great king the heavens are waiting for you please come and board this chariot i will personally take you there and then what happens <coughs> there was a dog which uh, who also accompanies him in the journey and then yudhishthir says oh but if i go this dog also has to come all right and then indra said oh what nonsense dogs don't have any place in heaven <laughs> and then you just said no if the dog doesn't go i will also not go either i will go with the dog or i will stay here and then indra said oh if that is the case i cannot take you to the heavens and then indra said why are you i am thinking of this dog now let this dog go wherever he wants to go he or she <laughs> you come with us forget about this dog the heavens are waiting for you enjoyment is there happiness is there everything is there please come don't get bogged up with this dog unnecessarily then you just said oh if for me to come to the heavens i have to leave this dog because this dog has accompanied me in my way then i will prefer staying here and rejecting all the pleasures of the heavens my god that's insane <coughs> and then suddenly this dog transformed and changed his form into yamaraj who was his father himself yes yamaraj is the one who is the father of yudhishthir and then yamaraj said i am very happy with you my son i was simply testing you there you go and then so many other places there's one place where the pandavas die all four of them and then <coughs> there was a yaksha who had taken their lives all right and then yudhishthir goes and asks who is the one who have taken the life of my brothers then the yaksha replies yes i am the one who have taken the life of your brothers 
and then yudhishthir asks how can i get back their lives then this yaksha says you have to answer my questions i have some questions if you answer them i will give back the life of one of your brothers not four only one and then yudhishthir answers all his questions and then the yaksha becomes very happy the yaksha says select the brother that you want to be alive again and then yudhishthir was on the verge of the war that time the battle was inevitable that time when they were in the incognito in agyat was that time this is the story of that time now ideally if anybody would be there in place of yudhishthir they would select either bhima or arjuna because they were the most powerful and these two were the most formidable among all the four nakul said they were not as powerful as bhima or arjuna so if you and me would be there we would select either bhima or either arjuna yes one of them but yudhishthir maharaj did not select bhima or arjuna he said i will select nakul or sahadev and then he said and among nakul and sahadev my mother likes sahadev more <laughs> so i will select sahadev then the yaksha asked are you insane are you a mad man you are on the verge of this fratricidal war you need powerful warriors like bhima and arjuna why don't you choose bhima and arjuna there or bhima or arjuna one of them why are you choosing one from nakul and sahadev then yudhishthir said look from my mother kunti she has three sons myself bhima and arjuna so i am already alive yes one of her sons is already alive and from my other mother the step mother she has two sons nakul and sahadev so now from kunti one of her sons is already alive but from madri nobody is alive so it's not good it should be balanced so let me be alive from the side of my mother kunti and from madri side let nakul or sadev let one of them be alive <laughs> and then the yaksha said okay i give you sadev back and then the yaksha said i am so happy by this gesture of yours that i give you the life of all the other three pandavas back and then bhima arjuna and nakul rose from the dead and they started living again <laughs> and the pandavas won the kurukshetra battle yes and time and again yudhishthir maharaj proves himself so that means the yudhishthir inside us is still living yes the yudhishthir inside us is not dead probably in kaliyuga his voice has become very low <laughs> but he is still there that means we have to feed him yes rather than feeding other people like dushasana karana shakuni dhritarashtra these voices also which are inside us then what happens yudhishthir will become more and more strong inside us yes then we will also be able to behave like yudhishthir and we may not be coined as dharmaraj but we can definitely become followers of dharma yes we may not be like him but we can at least aspire to be like his shadow at least right so that's what yudhishthir maharaj wants us to know yes that we can also become like him some day or we can at least try to follow in his footsteps which is still possible i guess in kaliyuga but what is the most important characteristic of yudhishthir is it that he was dharmaraj simply na no? because there there can be many people who are followers of dharma or no, who are good or who are who are very vigilant with the rules and regulations <coughs> but they may not be considered to be so great in the scriptures but what was one quality of yudhishthir maharaj which made him stand out from everybody yes can anybody write in the comments ting tong 1 2 3 4 5 times up that quality of yudhishthir was that he was completely surrendered to lord krishna <laughs> 
should i repeat he was completely surrendered to lord krishna because of which he was able to maintain his purity his commitments his truthfulness his honesty his behavior throughout the entire mahabharat yes so that means what is the lesson the lesson here is which yudhishthira maharaj wants us to know is very simple actually it's not very complex it's very 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 simple if you want that the yudhishthira inside you remains alive he doesn't die yes which is our desire to be good and do good for others then we have to be in association with lord krishna or god or whichever religion you belong to yes now you may say oh but lord krishna is not there in kaliyuga <laughs> what to do what yes there are so many spiritually elevated personalities so many uh, people i know they have been diligently practicing spiritual vows so many people so many saints even today they are there so we have to go and associate with them yes as in sanskrit they say sat sanga yes sata is referring to the mode of goodness and sangha refers to association meeting people going and socializing so instead of going and socializing with materialistic people where there are degraded talks about politics money and women yes these are the three topics right on which they discuss they will discuss what are the physical features of which girl <laughs> how how much promotion is the other person getting and how is he getting and how he should have not got it <laughs> and then they will discuss who is going to be the next prime minister of this country right in india there is election in 2019 and from now only people are starting oh who is going to be the prime minister <laughs> so now what i want to say here is instead of going to pubs and sitting with people and discussing about women wine entertainment this this wwe as my guru say na world wrestling entertainment no 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 it's wine women and entertainment which film star got married to which cricketer yes such a waste of time <laughs> such a damn waste of time na such a waste of time how is their marriage helping me suppose to tomorrow a cricketer gets married to another film star how is that going to affect my life but no 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 we are obsessed right something is going to change in my life yes my boss is going to love me more my relationship with my wife is going to improve no that's not going to happen <laughs> but the media is obsessed about all this unnecessary things which will never give us any happiness yes so instead of going and meeting such people who keep discussing about game of thrones na about who is going to win the next uh, cricket world cup or football world cup useless things which will not affect our lives positively or is there go- going to be a war between india and pakistan in the near future yes so many people in facebook groups debating discussing oh my god there will be a war maybe <laughs> fools discussing foolish things as the sena bhagavatam says blind leading the blind to the ditch na so instead of associating with such people who go and talk about women always oh she is having an affair with him he is having an affair with her oh we know there's something cooking there yes so we should go and associate with those personalities who will take us close to lord krishna that is what yudhishthira maharaj is telling because the only reason yudhishthira maharaj could be yudhishthira should i repeat the only reason yudhishthira maharaj could remain as yudhishthira was only because he was having lord krishna with him otherwise there was no chance that he could have maintained his purity yes he had great people bhishma drona vyasdev all these great personalities bhishma is one of the 12 mahachans so we also if we want to maintain the yudhishthir who is inside us we have to make sure that we associate with personalities like bhishma lord krishna vyas de drona although they are not there but we have to see in this world who are those personalities who can help us go close to god yes or who can help us 
think about God. <laughs> because only then will the goodness inside us be sustained. That is why many people say, Oh, it's okay to be good. You don't need God. You don't need spirituality. No, 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 no. That's foolishness. Because there are so many good people here in this world. If goodness would alone be enough, uh, then the world would not be suffering, right? The problem is, goodness cannot be maintained without spirituality. Because there will be allurements in your path. People will cheat you. Then what will you do? Either you get allurements or when you get cheated, you take revenge. Then you lose your purity. Yes. But we have to cultivate a spiritual lifestyle by which we are very satisfied. Yes. The word Yudhisthira means one who is not bewildered in the war also. Yes. Yudhi refers to fights, wars, battles. Sthira refers to one who is calm, peaceful, serene. So if you want to be like Yudhi Sthira, means one who is calm during the battle. Yes, because life is a battle. Every day there are fights going on inside homes, in the company, in our office, within, within countries, within governments, within business groups, within organizations. So life is no less than a battle. So if we want to be calm during these times of the battles, then we have to make sure that we do what Yudhishthira Maharaj did, which means we internally remain very pure. But that will only be sustained when we associate with spiritual personalities who will help us elevate our consciousness and will bless us also. That by, by, by whose blessings we will be able to maintain our spiritual commitments. Okay, Otherwise, there are so many good people who have come and they have been swayed off by the wave of time, by allurements and by different other negative prospects from other people. Yes. So when Lord Krishna is there with you, then your Yudhishthir who is inside you, that Yudhishthir will still remain and he will flourish. Yes. And for that we should also read scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita by which we can understand how great personalities like Arjuna and Yudhishthir and Bhima, Nakul, Sahadev, Kunti, Draupadi and all these great personalities, Bhishma especially, they took shelter of Lord Krishna. Yes. So there you go. There is no Krishna in Kali Yuga, but we have his holy name to chant Lord Krishna's holy name. And we have the scriptures and we have so many personalities, so many sadhus whom we can meet whenever we have time. We can go and take their blessings. Not just taking blessings like they in India they do. Oh, Guruji hai hai na, hume aashirvad denge. It's not that showbiz which many people in India do. Na. Oh, my Guru has come. Na. Guru will give me blessing and then they will kill, click a photo and they will upload in Facebook. No, it's not that photo op which people do sometimes. Okay. It is sincerely going and asking them how can I improve my life and trying to cultivate ourselves spiritually by which we can elevate ourselves and simultaneously we have to disassociate ourselves from those people who only discuss of WWE, wine, women and entertainment. Yes, and for women the W refers to the opposite sex. Yes, the only thing I know of girls they will be discussing these days, most of them at least. Now somebody will write, oh no, 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 you are wrong. I am not like this. I am saying most of the girls. The only thing they discuss is, oh my God, my boyfriend has is not messaging me. Nah. My boyfriend has ditched me, this, that. So, either ways, you are a male or a female. You are consumed by the opposite sex. So, if you associated with such women, yeah. then you will also degrade. You will also be star. You will also start thinking, oh my God, I don't have a boyfriend. I need a boyfriend. Yes. And regarding my male friends, the only thing they know to talk is, oh, I have this girlfriend, she did this, she did that. So, if you continue to associate with such people, then the Yudhishthir inside you will perish. He will be extinguished. <laughs> we will not be able to maintain the Yudhishthir who is inside us. Okay. So, the lesson that Yudhishthir Maharaj wants us to know is two, 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 are two lessons. First is, Associate with those personalities who help us go close to God, read the scriptures, maintain spiritual commitments, lead a pure lifestyle. And secondly, disassociate ourselves from those people who make us more and more materialistic, who are themselves indulging in 
sinful habits, sinful activities, like, yes? And by their association, we will also be polluted. And by that, our life will be in ruins. And if we continue to associate with those personalities who help us go close to Lord Krishna and help us understand the futile nature of this world and understand who God is, then our lives will be blissful and we may not be like Yudhishthir, but or we may not be like Dharmaraj Yudhishthir, but definitely we can say that I have tried my best to be like him. Yes. And then at the end of our life, we will also be rewarded like he went to the heavens. All right. There you go. That is it from my side. Identifying, protecting and feeding the Yudhishthir inside us. All right. There you go. If you want a personal consultation from me, then approach me in my website. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to make a video on any other topic, then please let me know in the comments. Okay. And please share this video with somebody who has started their spiritual journey and is eager to know how to protect myself and my spiritual commitments. All right. Until next time with another video, maybe this time on how to protect the Arjuna inside us. <laughs> bye bye. See you.